And my skin looks so good. It's giving God's favorite right now. Welcome to my channel. If you're new here, I am Shelly. And if you've already been here, as always, thank you guys so much for supporting my channel and welcome back. Now in today's video, I'm gonna be showing you guys how to achieve this very matte makeup look with a pop of color, AKA this bold, bold pink lip we got going on here. I really like the way that this look turned out. I like that it's very simple and then it's like, boom, you know? If you have not already, make sure that you like this video and subscribe to my channel. Turn on the post notifications so you don't miss any of my future uploads and leave me some comments down in the comment section below as you're watching, letting me know your thoughts on today's video. And without further ado, Let's go ahead and get into the look. All right, so first I'm gonna start by concealing underneath my eyes. I'm using the Revlon Colorstay Skin Awaken 5-in-1 Concealer. I'm using the shade 75, and this is a very close match to my skin complexion, so I'm just using it to conceal. And I'm going to blend that out. So I'm going to contour using the Fenty Beauty Matchsticks in the shade Espresso. Looks so crazy. <laughs> Let's get rid of that double, double chin action. You don't need no other body. <laughs> I haven't used this one in a minute. This is the Rare Beauty Foundation in the shade 440C. But, um, that might be too light. I want to try this Rare Beauty concealer. So this one is in the shade 420 in. Oh, I like this applicator. I'm going to put a little bit, just a little bit right there. Okay. And now we blend. I'm just gonna take a regular foundation brush and blend everything together. My skin looks so good. It's giving God's favorite right now. 
All right, I'm gonna set underneath my eyes. I'm using Beauty Bakery's flower powder in the shade Oat. <laughs> That powder is so bright. Okay, let's see. Let's just dust that powder away. <laughs> powder is so bright. So I'm gonna bronze real quick before I spray some setting spray. So the bronzer that I'm using is NARS bronzer in the shade Casino. <laughs> I love when my face comes out good. It's like, it's gonna be a good day. Y'all, I'm in a good mood today. <laughs> if you can't already tell. I'm just gonna put a little bit of bronzer in this area. All right, I'm going to spray setting spray. I'm using the Milk Hydro Grip and Set Refresh Spray. For blush, I'm going to use an old favorite. This is Whole Lot of Love by MAC. Pigment is there. Can we just talk? Can we just talk? Talk about where we're going. I'm using this NARS Larger Than Life liner. It's just a black eyeliner pencil. And I'm just gonna line the top lash line. And then I don't, I'm not really being precise with this because I'm going to blend it out. Or not blend it out, sorry, smoke it out. I'm going to take like a flat smudge brush and just smudge that liner out a little bit. So I like layering my blushes lately, so I'm going to go on top of the blush that I already used and use this NARS Orgasm X blush because I don't want to put on any highlight, so this is just going to add that extra glow on top. I don't know if you guys can really see it, but it looks so good. I'm going back into the NARS bronzer and I'm just... Dusting that along my lower lash line. For mascara, I'm just using this Kush Mascara by Milk. All right, now on to the lips. We're gonna be using these three shades from Revlon's Colorstay Matte Light Crayon. And shout out to Revlon for partnering with me on today's video. This is their newest lip product. It is a matte lip crayon, but it does not dry out the lips. I've actually tried them 
twice before even doing this video. But what I like about this, and one of the reasons why I kind of strayed away from using matte lip products, I found that it really, really dried out my lips, and this does not do that. I did apply a lip mask before starting so that my lips would like soak up the moisture and not dry out with using a matte lip product and not applying any gloss on top. I really do like the way that these glide on. They are super creamy, and even with drinking out of a straw, my lipstick did not rub off, which is in my book, a plus. We're gonna use these three shades today, like I said. I'm gonna start with the shade On Cloud Wine, and it's this very deep plum. These are retractable, so you can twist it up. You get a pretty decent amount of product. And like I said, I've already used these twice before. I brought you guys in so that you can really see what I'm doing. So first, I'm just gonna take and line my top lip. and then press my lips together. Now with the shade Sky High, I'm just gonna take and go along where I already filled in. For the final shade Mile High, I'm just gonna fill in the whole bottom lip with this. And now just go back in with Sky High and do a little bit of blending. And this will help to create a seamless transition between the dark plum and the pink. Wow, that's so pretty. We went from coloring in books to coloring on our faces. <laughs> okay, so it's safe to say I'm obsessed with this lip. It's so pretty. Pink is just my color though, you know? I'm gonna get ready and head to dinner. I don't have to worry about my lips smearing and smudging all over the place. <laughs> Okay, so I'm back from dinner and I just wanted to show you guys, this lip does not budge. You guys, I did not touch up, not one time, and it still looks good. So 10 out of 10 in my book, okay? Revlon did a thing. But anyway, I hope you guys enjoyed hanging out with me in today's video. Don't forget to like this video, subscribe to my channel, and turn on the post notifications so you don't miss any of my future uploads. Leave me some comments down in the comment section below and let me know, would you guys wear this lip color or what are your thoughts on this lip? Thank you again to Revlon for partnering with me in today's video. And thank you guys so much for all of your support on my channel and I will catch you guys in the next one. Bye! Girl